Hey there, Steve here again with webstars.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your debranded dashboard for your webstars designer platform. From your standard webstars dashboard, we're going to go ahead and click the drop down in the upper right hand corner, followed by the designer platform tab. Now, if this is the first time you're accessing your dashboard, you'll see this setup wizard, and we'll go ahead and run through these simple steps to get you set up. Step one, we'll enter the designer info, starting with my business name. And for this example, we're going to go ahead and enter Steve Design Services. We'll leave my phone number, but you're free to use any number you wish for your design services. Go ahead and click next when you're ready. Next step is uploading my logo. I'm going to go ahead and upload a WebStarts logo to my account. But you're free to use any logo that you wish. You can also skip this step by simply clicking next. If you don't have a logo yet, you can add it later or leave it blank. Regardless of what you choose here, the WebStarts branding will still be removed, so no worries there. Once you're ready to go, click next. Now the third and final step of this setup process would be to add a domain name. And just like the logo, you're free to skip the step by clicking submit. It'll just leave it blank. But in my case, I wanna add a domain name to my account that my users can then use to log in and manage their own websites. I'm also gonna add this domain name to the website that I use to promote my design services. This would be the suggested route, but again, lots of flexibility here. You're free to use it as you wish. In my case, I'm gonna add a domain name and I'm gonna choose a brand new domain name. If I have a domain name that I've registered elsewhere that I'd like to use for my designer website, I can do so. Simply click this option, enter the domain name followed by the extension, continue and then add that. But again, in my case, I'm gonna register a brand new domain name. And let's see, what do I want for my design website? Let's go ahead and go steve-design services. Let's see if that's available.com. And once I've seen that that's available, to complete the registration, I'll just click register this domain. Confirm registration. And once that registration is complete, you'll see that I'm taken to the manage domain names page. Let's go ahead and jump back into the designer platform to continue that setup. Now there's one more step in the setup process that I wanna cover, and that is setting up your manage link. If you choose to allow your clients to log in and manage their website, they'll need a link to access to log in and do so. Let's go ahead and click the settings tab located at the top of the page to get started with that. Now by default, you'll see that the login link is a webstarts.com link, but we can change that. We'll just click the edit pencil icon. Once open, you'll set the subdomain and then choose the domain name for which you wanna use for the link. And by default, the subdomain will be the word manage. And then you can choose the domain name here from the dropdown. I've only got one domain name in my account, so that'll be an easy decision for me, Steve Design Services. And once you're happy with that, go ahead and click the Update button. And you can see here that the link that the clients will use to log in is manage.steve-design-services.com. And just like the message here says, it'll take a few minutes to get that set up. DNS has to fully propagate. But once that's working for you, you'll be able to click this link and you'll be taken to a debranded login page where your clients will be able to log in and access and manage their website. And that's all there is to get in your WebStars Designer Platform dashboard set up. Should you wish to go back later and change any of this, you can do so by clicking the Settings tab. It's going to take you to this page. You can change your client login link, the logo, business name, or phone number. And as always, I want to thank you for using WebStars, and we'll see you on the next video.